Hola freaky people. This company keeps popping up on Facebook. Since I have nothing better to do, I figured I would order this and maybe that would convince them to stop showing up on my Facebook feed. I don't know. Maybe this channel will become Fred just blowing ridiculous amounts of money on every ad that pops up on Facebook. But in the meantime, let's see what this is about. So this is a company that markets themselves as being a kind of like an alternative to beef jerky. And since we're all about rebooting the dude and eating better, well, this has nothing to do with that. So um, anyway, so let's just, let's take a look at the company. It's uh, it's called Strive. They haven't paid me and, um, and I know nothing about them. It just looked like a cool little product. When we were in Spain, one of the things that I enjoyed um, probably, I wouldn't say the most, but one of the enjoyable aspects was being able to walk into the kitchen and kind of slice off a piece of ham. Uh, I forgot what kind of ham it was that we had hanging in there, but um, it was cured and it was like like six grand a leg. Not that this is anywhere close to that. I don't know, who knows? Maybe keeping a slab of meat in your kitchen is a good thing. So what? what is this? Operational instruction. Place a slicer on a solid flat work surface. That's the packing slip. Strive, tough, touch, touch then tender. Tough then tender, I guess that's a G. A slab guide, open, mmm, smell that. Biltong, what the hell's biltong? I guess that's what we bought. This is, this is the slab. Well, that's underwhelming. Looked like a big piece of steak on the, on, on the ads, but this is like a, this is like a piece of beef jerky. Like, like what the hell's, okay, this is a, charcuterie slab air dried beef okay all right so let's see what else is in here that's confidence instilling made in china all of the directions are in chinese and english take the slicer out because we need more crap in the rv maybe we'll take the slicer out Okay, again, underwhelming, not what I pictured. They gave us a little sticker. This is a stick on your laptop or your car so that you can tell people you're a meat eater. Some assembly required. Oh gosh, look at that. Probably, probably need to clean that first. Yeah, it definitely feels more than mass produced. Oh, you can't even take that, that logo off of there. That's nice. Got the static cling on the back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What in the Why would you put this on here? This isn't a this isn't a TV. On part two, we're gonna take off the rest of the plastic. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's like one little piece at a time. It's like that those security stickers that self-destruct. Oh my god. Okay. That's off. All right, so kind of a meat cleaver happening thing here. Rubber pads, kind of heavy duty. But I guess that, how does that go? They just sit there? All right, so it doesn't attach to anything. Just kind of sits there. Well, that's, that sucks. All right, let's see what, what what's doing. Let's open the char charcuterie slab. All right, so this is basically just a big ass greasy beef jerky. Paper towel, please. So I guess you, you put it here, you hold it, and then you push down. And then you give it to your wife to try. Maybe it will slide just a hair through it. Here, try that. So I guess, I guess if you can I guess you can use a little apparatus to slate to, to slice off a thin piece of this beef jerky, then you can chew it. Other than that, it's not really edible. Like that piece, I just lopped off the end to make it even, and I can't chew that. Can you chew this? Do you like it? Yeah. Want another piece? Mm -hmm. Oh, you like it that much, huh? Wow. I shouldn't have put that hunk in my mouth. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't buy this. I mean, I did. Maybe it'll grow on me. Wow. What I will say is this. If you're going to buy, it's just got a decent flavor. 
if you're gonna buy this Biltong, what the hell is it, Biltong? If you're gonna buy this, you need this gizmo because this thing is so thick and so dense and so dry that you're not cutting it without it. I mean, that's just, that's like wafer thin and yeah, it's greasy and oily, but it's still like chewing leather. Don't eat that. So yeah, if you're gonna buy the slab, you need the cutter. Overall, meh. I um, I don't know. Maybe this is for the for a different type of person. I'm gonna stick this back in the Ziploc. I will uh, figure out the the proper cleaning for the the cutter. Uh, again, it is a bit underwhelming that this tray doesn't. In, in the ad, it looks like it's just one unit, and it's clearly not. It just kind of kind of sits here, which I guess isn't bad if you're gonna you know cut it and then take this and bring it somewhere but they should at least show it on an ad or maybe even change this out for a wooden piece so you actually have like a charcuterie board or something other than that it's uh it's pretty pretty sturdy got some weight to it gotta be honest i would probably use this more than i would buy that so i don't know like i said the name of the company is strive it's uh it'll show up in your facebook feed i know it shows up in mine constantly yeah, Strive Biltong Charcuterie Slab. Again, don't let their ads fool you. If you see this, it's, uh, that's, that's hard as a, that's hard. So, it's not this moist and tender and juicy thing that they advertise. Um, it's just a hunk of dried beef. Like I said, big, great, big, big greasy. Got an okay flavor, nothing overwhelming. Nothing that you would crave again, I guess. I guess the word strive is, you know, maybe you could strive to be able to chew the thing. So anyway, I hope this video helps somebody. I'm going to go find a flosser. Thanks a bunch.